For HER2 negative breast cancer, there are two main types, the estrogen receptor positive, hormone receptor positive, HER2 negative, and then the triple negative breast cancers. So for triple negative breast cancer, because we don't have the estrogen receptor to aim at or the HER2 to aim at, chemotherapy is the standard of care right now, both in the curative setting for early stage breast cancer as well as for metastatic disease. For estrogen receptor positive HER2 negative patients, anti-estrogen therapy, so-called endocrine therapy or hormonal therapy is really the mainstay, the most important because you're really aiming at the key driver of that breast cancer, the estrogen receptor. And it is almost always the case that whether it be in the curative setting or in the metastatic setting, that inhibiting that estrogen receptor is the most important therapy of all. Oftentimes in the metastatic setting, we're combining hormonal therapy with other blockers of cell division, such as the CDK4-6 inhibitors or the mTOR inhibitors, but it's all aimed at making inhibition of the estrogen receptor that much more powerful. Since I've been in practice now some decades, we've seen a great evolution in our therapies becoming increasingly targeted. So chemotherapy still plays a very important curative role in some highly proliferative, meaning fast growing breast cancer. So that's very important, but increasingly we're getting the most improvement in outcome by targeted therapy, such as Herceptin against HER2, for example, and uh, anti-estrogen therapies, endocrine therapies against the estrogen receptor combined with novel targeted uh, agents such as the CDK4-6 inhibitors or mTOR inhibitors, uh, now increasingly checkpoint inhibitors as well in triple negative breast cancer. So we are seeing, thankfully, less use of chemotherapy in patients as we get better and better targeted therapies. This is happening a lot in metastatic breast cancer, this estrogen receptor positive and HER2 negative, less use of chemotherapy and greater use of oral agents that are very highly targeted against ER positive breast cancer.